Hi guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Hello, I hope you subscribe and stick around for more. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys all the things you need to know before going platinum blonde. I have been platinum blonde for the past two years of my life. Three. It's been three years. I have been platinum for three years. Apparently, I have no sense of time. It's been one of the most high maintenance things I've ever done in my life. So, without further ado, if you guys would like to see what you should know before you go platinum blonde, just continue to watch this video. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of do it how I do my tan videos, do some pros and some cons. So we're gonna start out with the cons. This is the truth about being platinum blonde. No matter what length of hair you have, no matter how long you've been platinum, this is going to happen. Let's start off with the first thing you should know. It's expensive. It is, it's expensive whether you do it yourself or whether you go to the salon. It is some expensive ass stuff. My natural hair color, I feel like you guys should know, I will try and find a picture of my natural hair, but my natural hair color is quite a warm, dirty blonde. I'm quite a dark blonde. I wouldn't say it's brown. You'll see it. It looks naturally, it's a very weird color, okay? I can't really describe it, but it's definitely in the blonde spectrum. So lightening my hair is not the hardest thing to do, but it's still expensive because I have so much of it on my hair. Head, then to use some more product. It is an expensive thing to do. So I called around asking how much it was to go platinum before I even went. Cause I wanted to get it done professionally cause I didn't trust myself. For it would be like 230 pound. I think the cheapest I got was 175 pound because of the amount of hair I had on my head already. It was like, look bro, it's gonna be expensive stuff. And it is so time consuming when you're there. You are there for hours, a whole day of there to turn your hair completely platinum. And especially if you've got dark hair naturally, if you've got very, very dark brown hair it's going to take a lot to lift that so just bear that in mind okay and also if you have any colors on your hair previously so say you say you went red and then you dyed it black they're not gonna put bleach on your hair like if they put bleach on your hair to go platinum you're gonna go all kinds of colors on the hair spectrum before you get to platinum again so just bear that in mind if you want to go from bright red hair or from already dyed black hair that is almost an impossible journey and i wish you luck in your endeavors okay <laughs> number two is high maintenance like this is the most high maintenance thing. I thought fake tanning was hard. No, platinum hair. Not only is it high maintenance because of the cost, it's also high maintenance because it looks dirty. So the minute your hair starts to grow through, it's different to highlights when you have a whole head of platinum hair. When your roots start to grow through, they grow through in straight lines. And at first it looks okay, but I would say for the first like month or so, it kind of looks like a look. It kind of looks like you've gone for shadow roots, but then it starts to look greasy. Once it gets past like, like that first sort of inch of root, it starts to look really dirty. No matter how often you wash your hair, if you've washed your hair and then you dry it, it looks dirty. It just looks it. After that period of time where your roots have gone through, your hair also starts to discolor and go more of a brassy, yellowy tone, which I quite like because as you can see, I'm a much warmer platinum at the moment. I like it, but I don't think a lot of other people like it. It can look quite harsh if you're used to having that silvery white kind of platinum hair. It's it's not it's not cute and then obviously you have to maintain that by going back to the salon or doing it yourself and that is it's just effort and work and it's just it's hard okay you can kind of manage the brassiness though with some purple shampoos i like to use this one this is the touch of silver i also have a hair mask version of this it helps to neutralize those tones that i don't really want in my hair i would probably use this a maximum of once every two weeks just because i don't want it to really pigment my hair and i only use the shampoo because the purple absorbs into your porous platinum hair because your hair is so damaged it's porous expanding and it absorbs more the third thing you need to know is the damage it's not a joke people the minute you turn platinum your hair r.i.p it is never ever going to be the same unless you grow all the bleach out which is going to take years it's a lot not only am i talking about split ends i'm talking about breakage i mean even now my hair is quite healthy but there is a lot of uh, breakage it gets more porous the breakage is just there's so much of it so the main place that I get breakage is along my hairline and then a little bit of breakage along where I split my hair as well you get like little flyaways I have thick hairs but not a lot of them I don't know if that makes any sense so my hair would sit flat against my head because it was just so strong and healthy and silky that I would have no volume whatsoever but since damaging my hair it's just a lot more lightweight the heaviness from my hair has disappeared and all my flyaways just kind of go whew, 
and it kind of looks frizzy and damaged. So if you are somebody that has already quite weak hair, it's prone to breakages and frizzing, there is a very high possibility after a long period of time of bleaching your hair, your hairs can snap off. All it takes is that one too many extra bleaching snaps. The fourth thing you need to know. So this is kind of a bit of a weird one. It is practically impossible to be any other color afterwards. Just wait, just wait, just bear with me. So of course you can dye over the top of your platinum hair. But what I mean by this, if you dye your hair, let's say we go brown. So you get it done professionally at a salon, it's gonna go brown and you wanna stay brown forever because that's your natural hair color. But after a certain period of time, your hair, it will just bleed through whatever hair color you have there. So all your natural hair that you've already dyed brown, it's gonna stay that color, but the bleached hair at the bottom is going to bleed through at some point and it's just gonna become lighter and lighter over time until it's kind of like this weird blonde brown color. After you go platinum blonde, you're basically gonna be platinum blonde forever because it just bleeds through. And number six, so this is kind of linking back to maintenance, but this is hair care. So because your hair is so damaged from all the bleaching and the lifting and the toning, you have to be extremely loving and nourishing towards your hair. I really, really rarely will blow dry my hair and I never straighten it and I never curl it just because it is so damaged already from the bleach. It's, it's fried, okay? We got some fried ass hair. You think for one second I'm gonna put heat on that and cause more breakages and clumps to come out. That also does mean that I don't wash my hair very often. Like I said, this is uh, day four. I will go a solid week without washing my hair just because I know that it's good for my scalp, it's good for my hair. I'm trying my very best not to dry my hair out. Obviously, if, it, if I have an event or something, I'm gonna wash my hair. But nine times out of 10, I'm sat at home doing nothing. And you know, you know, you know, by day five, if my hair's on a ponytail, there's a, there's a solid reason for that. But that helps to protect and maintain my hair, which is why I feel like I've been quite successful in managing to keep it such light colors. Also, I use a lot of oils. My favorite one is the Palmer's hair oil. I use that stuff religiously. It's like liquid gold to me. I will use it as soon as I've washed my hair. And then if I feel like my hair's looking a little, a little tired, I will also just put it in dry right between my hands and just stroke it in there okay so there are some pros to being platinum um <laughs> So those are basically the cons and the real maintenance of it, but there are some some amazing things about being platinum. Number one, you look cute AF. Let's be real, platinum hair is gorgeous. Anybody can rock platinum blonde hair. It is stunning on all complexions, on every body. It is amazing. I love it. I think it looks so bold and just like, yeah. The second pro, it is so much easier to style now. Like I said, my hair naturally is so heavy. It is like flat. It just sticks to my scalp it is um it was shiny and beautiful but it was so dull I, cu I couldn't even put it in a ponytail without it like falling out because it was just so heavy I'd curl it and it would drop immediately the minute I curled it it would just it's gone it's disappeared it would do nothing but since being platinum because my hair is more porous it's more lightweight it's it's it's, it's basically dead okay it just has so much more volume and natural lift in it that I can actually do things to my hair that I could never do before I plaited this two days ago this is the first day and I've brushed my hair a million times since then and it still has a little bit of a wave to it and like oh this volume. I could never do that before. The third one is kind of not a pro, but is a pro. It is affordable if you do it yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna say this for caution because I feel like I shouldn't be recommending people to, you know, fry their own hair at home. However, I do have a video if you do want to bleach your own hair from home saying if I can do it, that should say a lot about the world and what you can do because um, I mess up everything. So there you go. <laughs> if you can do it from home, you will save yourself literally hundreds of pounds. All you need is some bleach, some developer, a toner, and you can use the same developer. So there you go. There's even less things than I thought you needed. There you go. You're welcome. And it saves you a lot more time as well because you're not sat in a salon. You don't have to go out your way. You just need to dedicate one of your days off. Minimum every six weeks. Maximum every, you know, 10 weeks. But it is so easy to do. And it's just, you just put it on. You let it cook. You wash it out. You do your toner. You wash it out. It's done. It's done. If you're not sure on toners as well, I have a gazillion videos on my channel of all the different tea weller toners you can just test out. I will link them all for you in the description as well. So if you wanna check them out and see what color they are, because not every toner is gonna to suit every single person. Like look at me, I go from full on white platinum hair to basically light blonde platinum. I, I, I dare say I'm not quite in the platinum range anymore, but I much prefer being a warmer kind of color 
color just because I think it suits my, my tan a little bit better. Sometimes I find that being white platinum can look quite harsh and it's very, very hard to maintain because of all the silvery white tones in your hair. It's a hard thing to continue to do. So just bear that in mind. Sometimes it's a bit easier to be a little bit more yellowy because it's not as much maintenance. Those are all the tips and the advice that I have for you guys on being platinum blonde. If you have any advice of your own that you would recommend to me or to anybody else that's watched this video, just comment down below and we can have a little discussion down there about it. Any questions, again, comment down below and I'll answer it as best of my knowledge. Very limited knowledge, but yeah. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd like and subscribe, comment down below and that's it. So love you, see you, bye.